this assumption that if you follow your passion, you will be hungry and that your passion will never be able to put food on your table. And this mindset still lingers on in most people today, most parents, most guardians. My name is Sylvia Machetti, and unfortunately, most of us are still very ignorant of the universal order in this creation and how things really work. We only ever look at things from a physical point of view and nothing else. If I asked you to drink a very bitter concoction and I want you to show me that you are really enjoying it, it's impossible. It's bitter. You can pretend that you're enjoying it. You can even lie to me that it's so much, it tastes really nice. And then when I turn around, you can spit it out. Or I can pay you to pretend that you're enjoying it. But regardless, it's still a bitter concoction. And deep down, you can only pretend for so long, especially not to yourself. It's the same thing when we choose what we do in life, what we call our jobs, our work, our career goals. Most people, to them, work is like that bitter concoction. And they'll rather not drink it. But... They can pretend to be enjoying it if the pay is good. <laughs> Most people look at their environment and follow the exact same format as everyone else, never truly asking themselves, what do I really want from life? What am I passionate about? What will give me the most fulfillment in life? How can I find happiness in what I do for a living? In fact, whilst I'm doing what I'm doing for a living, do I feel alive? Do I feel fulfilled? Or do I feel deadened, drained, unhappy, dissatisfied and unfulfilled? Most people go with what society demands of them or how they were even brought up. Or sometimes they think of the biggest paycheck. And because that's all they've known, they want to exercise that same influence on their children. You must work hard and earn a decent living. Passion will not put food on your table. You better go and get a proper job. Of course you must work hard, but there's no reason why you can't work hard on what you love and enjoy doing. In fact, you'll be more than happy to work hard because it won't feel like work. It will not be labored. It will be fun. It will be exciting. It will be fulfilling. When you follow that which resonates with you, that which comes naturally to you, that, that which you can say, this is my gift, this is my talent. It will be like playing, it will be effortless, and it will be much more rewarding. So why can we say to that child, you must find your talent. You must find what you're good at, what you've been blessed with, what will bring you the greatest satisfaction. And you must work so hard at it so that you can be the best that you can ever imagine. And above all, you can feel fulfilled in that activity. You can go home and sleep well at night because that trumps everything, whether we like it or not. And when you are happy in what you do and find fulfillment, then the universe will reward your effort because you have become a valuable component of creation. Newsflash for you. Your boss does not pay you. The universe does. According to the, your worth and the value that you yourself contribute to your environment. And you can't contribute much if ultimately you are not happy in what you're doing. Yes, you might be working physically, but contributing nothing energetically or vibrationally. And this universe is all about energy and vibration. So physically you are working, you're even tired, maybe even drained but with little contribution to creation, nothing that adds value to your environment and its sustenance. So when I talk to my children, I say, think about the fact that you are likely to do this job for the rest of your adult life. And that's an awfully long time not to love and enjoy what you are doing. And even if it paid you the biggest amount financially, should it be at the expense of your happiness? Who wants to wake up every morning hating themselves for going to do something that they'll be doing for say another 30 years. We've been sold this illusion that it is impossible to follow your dreams and still be able to feed yourself and your family. But at the same time, there are people who in our society who were passionate about their dreams and they followed it through with no plan B in mind. 
and it eventually became a reality because eventually the universal order of things had to reward them for their value. Yes, you can be rich and enjoy what you do. You can do what you love and the reward will come. You can find fulfillment in your passion so that any money or reward that is earned in the end is just like a bonus to you. It's like an icing on the cake. And I was having this conversation with some friends of mine recently and their parents. And it's funny how most parents just want to push their children to the highest paying job rather than what the child would excel at, what their natural gifts and talents are. And as a parent, shouldn't the welfare of your child and their overall well-being when they become adults, shouldn't that be the most paramount on your mind? We say we love them after all. Isn't that why we're raising them with love? To find happiness in who they are. Would you not want them to be happy first and foremost in life? And would you love them any less if they didn't earn that six-figure salary? In today's world, we can always tell those who are actually happy and enjoying what they do for a living because they bring joy to the activity that they're doing. And they don't have to wear a badge with their salary figures on display. Finding fulfillment in your work or activity is a personal journey for each person, which they must find for themselves. And I always say, you might get it wrong a few times. You might have to hop from one job to the other, but you have to keep seeking for that activity, which eventually brings you joy when you're doing it. And I find that service to your fellow human being in any shape or form always brings benefit. And how you know is how you feel every morning when you wake up getting ready to go and do that job. Because your spirit will always tell you, are you feeling alive as you get ready to go and, and do the job? Or are you moaning and hating yourself for having to wake up and go? Your emotions don't lie. It will tell you if you're happy or if you're not, regardless of the big paycheck that's coming at the end of the month. And those who haven't achieved this job satisfaction and fulfillment will never understand how someone who's earning very little can be so contented in their job and they can still be beaming with joy every day. I once met a janitor who was cleaning toilets and the happiness that was radiating from this man made me stand there and chat with him for a good half an hour. I wanted to know how it is that someone who's cleaning toilets can still be so friendly and so upbeat and so happy to chat away. And I thought to myself, it won't be long. In fact, it's only a matter of time that such kind of happiness raises his station for him so he can find a better job. Those who give more will always earn more. And it's not just in the physical hard work, but also energetically. We are the creators of our own reality and our beliefs about ourselves. And that is what shapes our lives eventually. So if as a parent, you believe that a child following their passion amounts to nothing, then you have already failed your child because with that mindset, your child will never be able to truly express themselves, but will always be aiming to please you as the parent. And how many children have said, oh, I only did this job because my parents wanted me to. I would have done something else instead that would have brought me joy. And you as the parent, you have since moved on but instead you have raised an unhappy human being for the rest of the world to deal with <laughs> whilst you have carried on with your own journey. So in this festive season, as we are showing love, let's show the right kind of love to our children. Let us continue this spirit of allowing, allowing others to discover themselves and who they truly are, to find what brings them joy, so when you're all gathered round with your friends and your family and your loved ones celebrating this beautiful season, remember that their happiness and their welfare, their fulfillment of self, their individual self-worth is more important than any paycheck and, or any earnings. Because when they are truly happy in their activity, then the earnings must naturally follow. 
To love them is not doing that which pleases them or which pleases you. To love them is actually doing that which is of benefit to them. That is true love. When you love someone, you don't own them. You leave them free to find their own path to fulfillment. So don't let society convince you to raise children whose sole aim is not to find their passion or their purpose, but to be slaves to this commercial system of slaving away day and night, unhappy and unfulfilled. Please let them truly live and be happy in themselves in whatever activity, job or work they choose to do. Until next time, take good care of yourself and each other. Bye for now.